Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about search product. So let's see how can we make uh, this search box working. So first of all, go to the home controller. So just go inside the app directory, then HTTP controllers and let's open the home controller. And now here, let's create a new function for search the product. So right here, public function and function name which is search okay and inside this just pass here the request dollar request and now here uh, first of all just create a variable query is equal to and get the query value from the request so right here request arrow input and pass here the field name which is query and now fetch the project product so write your results is equal to model name product column column where and pass here the column name which is name and use here the like predicate so write here like then double quote double percent sign and then inside the single curly bracket just pass here this one dollar query okay and now just uh, call here the get method and let's take eight records so right here take and just pass here eight and now return response response edge JSN okay so right here the JSN and pass this results okay and now save this and let's create the route for this search method so go to the routes directory and open web.php and now here let's create a new route so right here route get at the URI search and uh, then controller name home controller column column class and then function name which is search and uh, give the route name which is home dot search okay now save this Okay, now go to uh, go to the uh, layout file. So just inside the resources directory, views, layouts, and then open app.blade.php file. Okay, and inside this layout file, just uh, find this form search uh, search form. Okay, so let's copy this text, and here just press Control plus F. Okay, and here you can see this is the search form okay and uh, uh, here this is the input text field now here just add the id search dash input okay and uh, for displaying the search result here is the div now uh, inside this uh, this div uh, just remove all the content and add here the evil tag and set the id set the id here box dash content dash search okay and now just close this url tag search okay now go to the bottom of the page and uh, uh, before this uh, this theme.js uh, 
after this okay just add here the script tag and now just close this script tag okay and here uh, first of all just add here dollar function and inside this first of all let's bind the key up event to the search input field okay uh, this field so for that just write here dollar uh, id of the input field which is search dash input okay then key up event so write here on event name which is key up and then add here the callback function and inside this callback function first of all just fetch here the value from the search input input field okay so create a variable here where search query is equal to dollar this dot val okay it will retrieve the value from the search input field then uh, first of all just check here the length of the search query if search query dot uh, length is greater than two it means uh, there are three characters then just even the pair okay yeah, yeah just execute this ajax call so right here the ajax dollar ajax and uh, inside this is the other curly packet and then uh, right here the type get okay this is the method and then url which is uh, url is this one home dot search home dot search okay and then uh, pass here the data data which is query colon this one search query and after this just pass here the data type which is json and then add here the success success set ok and then inside this uh, first of all just uh, what is the id okay box contains search this ul id okay so right here inside this function first of all uh, blank uh, the, all the content inside this ul tag so right here box dash content dash search okay dot html and put the blank value and then use here the each method so right here dollar h and uh, data and just add here the callback function and inside this pass here the index and item okay and then first of all create here the uh, url so right here where url is equal to double curly bracket route and uh, inside the double quote route and route name which is soap dot product dot details 
okay and then pass here the products slug as an argument so right here product underscore slug and for time being just pass here a class folder motor value so right here inside the single quote product underscore slug underscore el s okay add here the semicolon now let's create actual link so right here the where link is equal to url dot replace and replace this product slug value okay and this one so right here replace product underscore slug underscore pls with item dot slug okay it will generate the link using two lines now add here the uh, content inside this box contains search uh, url okay so it's just generate here the li so right here dollar id which is box dash content dash search and just append the content which is use here the tick sign okay and inside this sign just paste some html content which is this one okay just pause the video and write this html code this is the li tag okay and inside this html codes this is this is for the product image and here is the link for product details okay so uh, just to display here the product name so right here dollar sign single curly bracket and then item dot name and for the link just right here single curly bracket and then dollar sign link okay this variable name and for image just right here double curly bracket and uh, asset and inside this just pass here the path of the product thumbnails image so right here products uh, first of all uploads uploads slash products then uh, thumbnails thumbnails okay and after this just pass here the forward slash then dollar single curly bracket item dot image okay and uh, inside the alt tag just write here this one dollar single curly bracket item dot name okay and now just add here the semicolon also here semicolon now save this file I think it's done so let's check uh, also add area the semicolon okay after this closing tag now save the file and uh, let's check so switch to the browser and just refresh the page okay now here just search here the product so right here go product okay and you can see here the product okay now uh, let's add some style uh, css so go to the app dot app dot php file and just go to the top of the page and here inside the style tag so add here some css for the styling the search result okay so just write this css okay from here to here 
so just pause the video and write this CSS as it is okay now save the file and uh, let's check so just refresh the page okay now let's search again so just right here product and you can see here the search result okay now just click on any product and here you can see the product details all right So in this way you can search product. So that's all about creating search product. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.